Hey everyone, my name is Andrea. I'm 18 years old and I'm right now a foreign exchange student in Oklahoma. And this is my first video and I want to talk about differences and stuff between America and Western Europe. I'm going to talk about the differences between America and Western Europe and the first thing I have is that no one walks around here. You take your car literally everywhere. If you can't drive, that sucks for you because then you are dependent on other people. The second thing is that there is no public transportation around here, like no buses, no trains. You are dependent on cars. And like at home, I don't know, I take the bus like everywhere because not everybody drives where I live and also because you need to be 18 in Sweden to get a driver's license so that's pretty much the same thing everywhere in Europe and so therefore we have more public transportation like I take buses, I, I used to take train, trains to like other cities and stuff but the next thing is food there are fast food everywhere like everywhere you go like when you drive around you're like hmm, fast food restaurant oh another fast food restaurant oh look there's another one because everybody eats fast food because it's cheap it goes fast everybody can afford it and yeah that's not that's probably why americans are seen as really fat obviously and well also there's a thing about table manners like i don't know about you, but in Sweden at least we learn to eat with fork in left hand, knife in your right hand, and you said like this. They don't do that in America. They have a fork in the right hand, put elbows on the table, and then they just eat. And sometimes they use their hands. That makes me a bit uncomfortable. I'm getting used to it. And also they drink a lot of soda here, like they have free refills in restaurants and stuff. You have to pick up soda. It's good for them, I guess. Well, people's parents here are very different as well. Like, American teenagers, they have rules for everything. You can get grounded for stuff, and you have curfews, which is a time when you have to be home on weekdays and on weekends and stuff. And we don't usually do that in Western Europe. Like, parents aren't strict at all. I can pretty much do whatever I want because I got my own responsibility. And. Also, we don't do grounding. I have never gotten grounded in my entire life. <laughs> and it can be kind of tricky to find out who your real friends are here. Like, you have plenty of friends that you don't really get to know. They're always there, you hug them and you're like, hey, I love you. And then like, you don't even know each other. And also, you don't even know if you can trust them. Does that make sense? It's a lot of shallowness here, but if you really get to know someone, I promise you, they can be so Earlier sweet. I said that you have to take a car everywhere. That's because everything is so far apart from one another. Like there's no downtown area where you can walk around and go to stores and go shopping and eat and take a coffee or whatever. There is no downtown area. There are places, like it's all spread out, like everywhere. There's one place here, and then you have to drive to get over here. You can't walk that way. So, like, the American school system is pretty easy compared to a European one. Like, the whole grading system is completely different. Like, you can suck at something, but still, you have the ability to actually get an A. Like, teachers, they can get extra credits, so you can, like, raise your grades and stuff. Like, I'm not saying all classes are easy, because, well, I've been struggling, actually, with some AP classes, which are, like, basically college level, but... You are still able to pass it. You like you get a lot of homework and stuff, but just do it and then you'll pass it. Basically. Well, then there's a thing about dating. Like you probably heard a lot in American movies before, like dating, dating, dating. But what does it really mean? Well, it means like you are two people going out on a date, and then you keep on going out on dates. That's dating. That basically means that you are a couple. And this whole system is kind of stupid because we don't do dating in Europe. Like, if someone would ask me out on a date, I'd, I'd be like, 
Are you serious right now? Really? Okay. <laughs> but here it's completely normal, but it's hard to really know, like, are you a couple? Are you not a couple? Are you a boyfriend or girlfriend? Or what are you? Are you dating? What does it mean? I don't understand. So you probably noticed that this whole video sounds very negative. But these are like things you kind of notice that it's kind of shocking when you get you like you see things in the movie and it seems so wonderful and then you get and be like, what what are people doing? Why are they acting like that? Why is it that way? And it's just so weird. So it feels so negative. But trust me, there are so many great things about America as well. I'm gonna talk about it in another video. But just don't get like a negative picture of America because trust me, there are so many great things. You a car everywhere you go. Like you can't even walk. <laughs> hey, my name is... <laughs> <laughs> so, the English, the American school system? Well, like this whole video sounded very...